Hello again. Now in this video we're going to be looking at standing stones. Two standing stones in particular, two very different stones. They're standing in adjacent fields about 700 feet apart and they are about halfway between Ennis and the village of Tulla. This is what we'll call standing stone number one. It is almost square. It is about 1.5 five meters tall. It has three perfectly flat sides and one side which is not so flat. In the next field is a bigger chunk of stone stood up on its end and we're going to look at why they are positioned in these exact locations. These are the locations of the stones with their alignment lines visible there on the Google Earth map and these are the uh, locations of the stones highlighted and they're labelled standing stone one and standing stone number two. Now just a quick word about the accuracy of these alignments. Let's just look at this one as an example. It's an alignment between a ring fort at Rathcluny and one at Creva. And the alignment line goes over the top of the standing stone there uh, at the red arrow in the middle. The total distance is seven kilometres and the line goes right over the top of the standing stone. Going to the ring fort at Rathcluny, I've taken that line from the, the center point of the fort. And if I move that reference point, not even to the edge of the fort, if I go just halfway between the center and the edge, then we go back to look at the line as it approaches the standing stone and we find that it doesn't go over the standing stone anymore. So we can take it that all the observed alignments are center to center. On a side note there, looking at the ring fort in Rathcluny, when I moved that, that reference line away from the centre, I did notice that the diameter of that ring fort is 124 feet, which makes it exactly two seconds of meridian arc at this latitude. But let's get back to the alignments. There is an alignment line which takes in both stones. We go to Kilfoydan near Spencil Hill, which is four kilometers to the northwest, and we take a line from the center of a ring fort there to the center of a ring fort four kilometers in the opposite direction in Dangan. We find that that line goes over the top of both standing stones and through the center of the mound at Ma Eyre. There to the southeast is the ring fort at Queensfort and Dangan, and we see that the alignment to the two standing stones goes through the centre of Moire. Now, looking specifically at standing stone one, we see that it has three perfectly flat sides, and one side which is almost flat. So we'll put a square down there which corresponds with its orientation, and we'll put two axes on there and we'll establish points one, two, three, and four according to the shape of the square stone. Firstly, we go in direction number one. That takes us into the walled garden at Dromoland Castle. There's a big stone bowl there with the gardens constructed uh, symmetrically around it. So taking a line from here directly back over the top of standing stone number one, just one and a half kilometers to the northeast, is a feature there on a hillside in Crow Hill. On the satellite image, it just looks like a bunch of trees, but on closer inspection, there's a great big hole in the hillside, approximately two meters deep, seven or eight meters wide, and there have been some relatively recent earth works completed on the site. Certainly in the last couple of hundred years, it's not something that looked like this from the Ice Age. There are still quite discernible contours there, which would have been smoothed over a lot more in the course of in a few hundred years. So this is relatively recent. Now let's look at directions three and four. In direction number three, we go to a ring fort in Dangan. That line goes over the center of ring fort Tuna, over the center of the standing stone number one, and on to direction number four, it's a ring fort at Belly Griffey, north of Ennis. That's the yellow line there reaching the ring fort in Belly Griffey, and interestingly, the red line there shows us that this ring fort sits directly on a line between Belly Griffey Castle and Kilnaboy Round Tower. Coming back to our one, two, three, four diagram, the lines are at exactly 90 degrees. 
So let's see what other alignments we have there. Uh, if we take a line from the spire at St. Flannan's College in Ennis to the church on top of the hill by the cemetery in Tulla, that line goes over the top of standing stone number one. There's a standing stone quite visible as the hay has just been cut in this field. There's St. Flannan's College spire to the west, slightly south of west, and then Tulla Church slightly north of the easterly direction. Now, for the next alignment, we take a line from Drumcliff Round Tower to a ring fort at Carlohan. The ring fort is not currently visible on the landscape, but there it is on the 1842 Ordnance Survey map, and the connecting line goes over the top of Standing Stone Number 1. Next, if we take a line from Kilmacdua Abbey to Fenlo Church, that line goes over the top of our standing stone. Now, the uh, Kilmacdua, uh, it's not the round tower we're looking at, it is the arched window there on this extension to the building beside the round tower. And from this point to the westerly gable at Fenlo, the line, as I said, goes over the top of the standing stone. The westerly gable was probably the more significant one because it would have been norm procedure at the time to put whatever bell tower they had on the westerly gable, as they have done here at uh, Kilcrease. So that's probably what Fenlow would have looked like back in the day. There's the line away from Kilmacdua Abbey. There it is over the top of the standing stone, and there's the line arriving at Fenlow. Now, for the next alignment, we go three kilometres or so to the north to Rathcloney Lake. Now, there was a Cranogue there at the tip of that little peninsula, and we know that that Cranogue is the intersection point of pairs of ring forts which were positioned on either side of it. It was like a hub for the ring forts in the area. And if we take a line from here, to a standing stone in the townland of Caracalla to the east of Quinn. Then that line from the Cranogue to the standing stone goes over the top of our standing stone number one. For the next alignment, we have something very similar at Shandangnan Lake to the east. There's the little Cranogue or island in the lake, and again, it is a hub. There are ten ring forts in the area which are arranged in pairs either side of this Cranogue. And if we take a line from this point to a similar point on a small lake in Belly Line near Crochine, where we've got exactly the same thing happening, that line goes over the top of our standing stone number one. Now, looking at standing stone number two, uh, to take a shortcut through a lot of the detail, uh, we have exactly the same kind of alignments all going over the top of the standing stone. And the locations we're talking about here are the tower at the old Our Lady's Hospital in Ennis, the church in the old cemetery at Kilmele, Quinn Abbey, Loch Coutric Castle, Tyreda Castle, Milltown Castle, and the site of the old round tower at Tomb Graney. And if we look at an alignment line mentioned in a previous video on Ennis Courthouse, we said there was an alignment there from a cross stone wall in the burn through Kilnaboy Round Tower, through seven other ring forts, ending at a ring fort in Dune near Broadford. It's interesting that three of the ring forts on that line form part of the alignment layout for these two standing stones in Clooney. It's like points on a spider's web. So are we looking at a communication network? Are we looking at an energy network? Are we looking at a network of portal points? And then, of course, there's the question of who built what first? Were there two sites in existence and then they put the stone in the middle and then built everything else radiating out from that? For all these alignments to be in place, you would think there would have to be a plan from a very early stage in the construction of all this, maybe right from the beginning. And then who did all that and why? You tell me. Please do comment. Let me know. Thank you.